Dougie. Yeah, I hate those ones. I'm so bad at holding them. Absolute base level climbing. <laughs> no. Slippers and features have always been my worst nightmare. I've often watched in awe when I witness people hold slopers with what seems like ease and I feel like that's something that I can never relate to probably because my hands are so small but who knows so I decided it was time for me to go and seek some expert advice last year I was able to pop in to Skyward to annoy my friend slash pro climber slash setter slash hold expert slash gym owner Yossi and if you don't know anything about Yossi, he is a wonderful human being who is an expert at climbing and he himself has competed in multiple bouldering world cups. He's also set at a national level for bouldering competitions in Australia. And also he owns a gym. I was lucky to have a chat with him and ask him all things sloper and feature related. Thank you so much to Yossi for taking the time to hang out with me in his very busy life. So here's me presenting Grace doing things, asking for advice edition. It's Yossi. Say hi, Yossi. <laughs> yeah, people try and lock it off. Mm. because they want to like pull up and get on it better yeah. but that just makes it worse and worse yeah 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 Yeah, like sitting low I really like do think that locking in the shoulder locking is something shoulder. that um, I've found makes a really big difference mm -hmm. um, okay locking in the shoulder yeah, I didn't it, really think about that it just kind of forces your whole body to stay closer to the wall and yeah. you actually like engage this hand a lot better yeah. I feel like there's kind of two different types there's Mm -hmm. Things like this, which are very, very thuggy. Yeah, I hate those ones. Yeah. I'm so bad at They're holding like them. Very bicepy and shouldery, like you just engage everything. I'll be going on the side and just trying to hug it. Yeah, okay. Um, but then, like, you also have yeah, these ones, which are, I think, a lot more delicate. And it's yeah. much more about like locking in on the shoulder again. Oh. Like, being able to kind of be under it, straight under it, like that. Okay, okay. Um, this start where he's like on it and heel hooking and it's just oh. about like locking that shoulder right in sitting on your hips yeah you know like when you see good climbers climb though <laughs> it just looks so like easy yes. and then when you hop on it yourself you're like what yeah, am i absolutely. doing absolutely. yeah <laughs> cool. when you catch it yep. i think that's when it just comes into kind of really really quickly engaging everything and yeah. the kind of immediate contact strength. So, right. Um, so you mean like when you jump to one, you're yeah. like pulling in straight away? Yeah, and yeah. I, I think being able to kill the swing because on a sloper, yeah. like on a crimp, you know, you can bite down yeah. and pull back in with it. On the yeah. sloper, like as you come out, you just get nothing. Yeah. So trying to kill the swing or reduce the swing, that's mostly just like all your core and everything oh. you're getting to stop you. Yeah. Um, and then again, holding slopers, so like being able to engage your shoulders yep. to keep yep. yourself. You know, I mean, you look, look at the top climbers, and when they take big cuts, you know, they don't swing out like yeah. this, engaged. Their lower half swings out, and their yep. front half just stays in like this. Yeah, wow, yeah, that's so true. Yeah, yeah, I didn't um, think about that, yeah. And yeah, I think, again, it's just like keeping everything locked in so that you're still using the hold mm. really well. It, it depends on the person, I think, a lot. I think, yeah. we, you know, if I am trying to set a jump, yeah. I will try and make sure that is the only way you can do it. Okay. And usually jumps, I find it quite easy to force because you literally just, the further Move you go, it. Yeah, 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 the yeah. more you have to jump. Yeah. But it can be really hard because like, if you're taller, you know, this is exactly. possible. And if you're shorter, you need to jump. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Again, it really depends on the climbing style. Mm -hmm. There's people that are very, very powerful. Yeah will actually find it easier to be faster, more dynamic, and yep. jump between things. Yep. Uh, and that's, don't really think that it's worse or better. Okay. It's just more efficient for them. Yeah. I think if it's something that like you want to get better yeah. at, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. But um, again, like for us, mm -hmm. we try and 
as best we can set a, a variety in, across every single grade. Yeah. Sometimes it can be not just training specifically for this thing, mm. but trying everything in you know all the pinks. Mm -hmm. like yeah. All the like orange tapes. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because yeah. if the I think if the set is achieving their goal, mm -hmm. then there's variety in it and. You can like you do actually, it at whatever level, really. Exactly. Yeah. If you actually try every single thing, then mm -hmm. you will get better at slab and steam. Yeah. Whatever. You're trying to be under it, and yeah. the, the more you can open your hips up, yeah. stay close to the wall, yeah. the better it's going to feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's something that we do a lot here. Is we yeah. Feet out. Yeah. Quite so it's big. like forcing you to yeah, really and it's, low. Yeah. You, you can hold uh, awful things <laughs> when your feet are so far out of the wall. It's almost becoming a slab, you know. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, so I think okay. really focusing on trying to stand on the thing furthest from the wall. Oh. On a feature, yeah. stand here, mm -hmm. up here. Even though a lot of people will stand here and it feels more secure. Yeah. Particularly with slabs. Like the further out you stand, the more slab you're making for yourself. Because I feel like if I do this sometimes and yes. I get scared, I and then I slip off, it will go like this and then I'll bang like my head yeah, there. Yeah. So that is the way that yeah, we should be doing it instead. Yeah. It is scary, but then like the way I explain to people is like say this is foot. You're standing here, yeah. you have exactly as much surface area and as smooth as standing here like this. Mm. And the difference is that you can now lean into the wall. Right, okay, yeah, that's a good way to think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I think people get so... It's, it's just scary because you're on the edge. Like if yeah. you, it feels like if you slip, yep. uh, you have room to... To stop just yourself, stand. maybe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's climbing. But yeah. Easier when you're yeah, okay. What a great tip for standing on features. Yes. And what about... What it, like is it the same? It applies to yeah. similar features. It that applies way? to everything. It applies to this whole. Like if I'm standing up here, yep, I would stand here. You know, mm. like, even with small holds, you know, I would. If you're struggling on the move and standing here, like the difference can. That's so interesting. Be a no, that's great. How you explain it that way? Think of how easy it is to stand on a that, five yeah, forward, slab yeah. compared to vert. You can't. Yeah. But, the further out your foot is, the more you're making that. You're like, like you're giving slab. yourself that advantage by like going inwards. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Holding features, I think, is exactly the same as holding slopers. Okay. But people, um, I think, kind of. They're just, they're like, whoa! Yeah, it's I so don't, different. I don't think they see it as the same thing, but yeah. I really, I do think it is. Mm -hmm. I think the main difference that makes it quite hard is what I was saying before, like on a sloping you can hold it like this, yeah. whereas on the feature you're holding it like this and yeah. the wrist like being twisted around yeah. makes it harder to then lock your shoulder in oh. and everything, but I still think they're focusing on the same thing, so being like hips in, locking your shoulder. shoulders like locked off, yeah. you always have to trust it the same way that you're trusting your foot on the slab. Mm. It's my slope, but I just. <laughs> but uh, then, like, if you're more confident in this move, then you're less likely to slip off, right? Yeah, exactly. The more you're kind of pulling down, waiting in, yep. like, doing all the right things, yep. the, the biggest thing is just the way that your wrists end up being kind of hot. Yeah. And kind of wrist mobility. Which is why it's so important to, like, warm them up when you start. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or not really, no, no okay. And it's, setters just, don't really like doing that anyway. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I just, I like, we we really, 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 really care about the safety of the climbs. Yeah, so 100%. If, if, I would only do that to make sure you don't stand. Mm. I wouldn't do it so that you stand there and you're at risk of stopping oh, and hurting yourself. I think maybe that's, that might be a common misconception because people are like complaining about like, Oh my god, it's dual text, they're yeah. so evil, but yeah, yeah. actually it's there to stop you, so it's to, there to force another move yeah, rather absolutely. than... Yeah, I very, very, very rarely would I set that you hold the dual text and, or, or stand on it. And yeah. I, I can only think, if, if I were trying to force you to hold the dual text, it would not be to make you hold 
drill dead so much, it would be that you focus on your feet. Something else. Because you can't hold this. Ooh, okay, like okay, right, um, okay. But yeah, I, w I would never set it so that, oh, you could slip so easily. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great, that's really good to hear. Well, most holds, I'd say, like 99% of the holds have a better spot to hold it. So, like, those ones, it's hard to tell by looking at it, but there's actually, like, one better orientation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Depending on, like, which way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, usually, like, always, when we set with those, we will make sure that you're holding the best part or holding yes. the part that's right for the grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's kind of trusting that we're feels right is right you know mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. like readjusting so many times because yeah. you waste energy and lose yeah, chalk exactly and... i think i have like that's something that i really like to work want mm. to work on as well it's like when i get somewhere i want to i keep feeling around for where the best part yeah, is but yeah. it's better to be like precise when you go up and be like that's yeah. exactly where i want to be it's hard when you don't know the hold mm. it's really really hard mm. but yeah that, that's something i find we watch people in the world cups and whatnot yeah usually they just lock in they don't readjust they just yeah, they know yeah, yeah. how to hit it and they hit it yeah and yeah yeah that's keep so going. true yeah except so for don't. tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> this bounces around <laughs> that's so funny absolute base level climbing is something that i feel like everyone has heard and knows is to focus more on your feet mm. but it's, it's so it's, true yeah, it's <laughs> I think like trying to actively relax your grip on the holds and whatnot mm. forces you to stand more in your feet. Mm. Um, you know, doing things like keeping your hips really close yeah, and whatnot yeah, because yeah, yeah. I think good footwork goes hand in hand with moving your hips really well. Yeah, 100%. Um, like when we were Climbing in Castle Hill, I remember we were all saying that a weighted foot never slips yeah. because the, the harder you push on it, the scarier it is, but yeah. the more pressure and friction that there is and the less likely you are to slip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think being able to practice things like that on slabs and whatnot that are low to the ground mm -hmm. is really, really good because it is scary. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Same with like coordination, like that's why that whole set yeah. is all like on the ground because mm -hmm. If you're starting off, yeah. when you fall, it's not scary. It's not scary to try it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I 100% agree with that. Yeah, be, you just need to be happy with yourself. If you're not happy with the fact that you're too scared to do it, yep. then maybe you really like need to build up the courage, practice, practice the move lower yeah. on something else, a different time. Or yeah. Like and then go and do it. Yeah. But, or to come to terms with like, this is terrifying, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that's also okay as yeah. well. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I could not really pick a, um, a style of farming that I enjoy so much more. And I think it's because especially setting, you have to set everything. Everything, yeah. It really sucks if you hate slab. Yeah. You have to set slab. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, to be able to enjoy everything. Yeah. And a big part of that is being good at it. You know, it's hard to enjoy something that you're really bad at. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, you know, the better you get, like, steep climbing is so fun and yeah. exciting and powerful. It is and so, I yeah. I love slab climbing as well. Yeah. I, I love it. That's amazing. Um, so, uh, yeah, but it's also because I can, I can do both. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Being able to do both and appreciate And you can, it. yeah, exactly, that's right, you're like appreciating it. Oh, There's God. too many, they're yeah. all your children. Yeah, there are way too many. <laughs> yeah, I, I think for me, the more simple a shape is, the more I like it to okay. set with anyway like yeah. I, I actually find that there's so much more you can do with it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and they just look so nice they're so oh. kind of pleasant to hold I'm obviously biased towards the snap but I love the snap and under yep. hold before you really liked these under blue holds yeah. <laughs> and what do you like so much about them um, I just think that they are so well made like the little nuances that 
I, I think are really nice. I mean, they just fit so, so well together. <laughs> and then they're like taper on the edge. Oh. Just so good. So you can block it in this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wow. And they're really nice, two holes. Well. Yeah, they are, they're, they're they are. Not just, I mean, they look great, but they don't just look great. They're actually mm -hmm. very, very functional. Mm. I think they're, again, not only beautiful holes, I mean they are amazing, yeah. but they're also extremely functional. Yeah. To me, something that is really kind of unique about both these snap holes and the underglue holes yeah. is you can make really, really amazing columns mm -hmm. out of all these crumpy holes. And yes! I mean, how often is the feature climb at a gym crumpy? No, never. It can kind of suck that usually the, the king lines in the gym is not going to be at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yes, there. yes, yes. And these definitely let you set very grumpy lines. That's so cool. And they look good. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time, Yossi. Yeah. <laughs> And that is it guys. I hope that was helpful. I really learnt a lot from speaking to Yossi because he just has an encyclopedic brain about all things climbing. And I hope that you guys can employ some of the tips that you learnt because I've definitely been employing some of them and I just have to say that um, it's still a bit of a struggle but I'm trying. So. That's all that matters. Anyways, thank you again to Yossi. Have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, I'm done. I've taken this, like, done this three times. Also, do you like my jumper? It's cool. It says, oh, you can't see what it says. It says on. But then it kind of looks like no in the viewfinder. And also this light is great and my throat is hurting because I have spoken for a very long time. Anyway, I just have this giant pimple on my chin, which is uh, painful.